I'm Don Fry, President and CEO of the Greater Baltimore Committee, and welcome to GBC Insider, a program designed to hear from leaders in the private sector, elected officials, and members of the media to gain insights on key issues in business and government, and to check in on programs that aim to benefit our communities and the region. Today, GBC Insider is joined by Marty Schwartz, President at Vehicles for Change and Not for Profit in Baltimore County. So Marty, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. So let's talk about the second aspect of us training uh, returning citizens in uh, auto mechanics. Talk a little about what's involved in that, how many people you train on a yearly basis. Is there anything else that's involved other than just a job application or other services that you provide uh, for those people who you hire to uh, provide them with a skill? Absolutely. So, you know, our program is very unique. Actually, it's incredibly unique. It's the only program like this in the entire country. There isn't another program like Vehicles for Change. But the thing about our reentry training program is we pay our guys as they're coming through the program. As we started to do research about the needs that they're going to have, our program is eight hours a day, five days a week. You can't expect somebody coming out of prison to try to survive over a four month period without any kind of financial support. So we actually support our guys financially. They make on average about 10 50 an hour. So it's not a tremendous amount of money, but it's enough money to survive. They spend about 90 minutes a day in the classroom studying for ASE exams, the National Certification for Auto Mechanics. Really tough academic schedule and yet all of our guys pass a minimum of three of the 10 ASE exams mm. so that they're ASE certified when they leave our program. And then they spend the rest of the day, about six, six and a half hours a day working on live cars that are gonna go to these single moms. And then around that, we provide them with the other necessary supports that they need. Sometimes they need to get their driver's license back. They need to find shelter. They need to to um, work with their families, to get back involved with their children. Um, some of them need anger management or substance abuse. So we work with them on all of those things so that at the end of that four month period, we wanna be able to say, Mr. Employer, we can vouch for this individual that one, they're gonna be a, a great employee and two, they're gonna be a solid mechanic. So talk about the success that you've had with that aspect of things. They're with you for four months doing the training. You try to help them or they try to find employment, which we know how important employment is for a returning citizen. And maybe give us a little anecdotal story about you've seen some impact from there as well. Yeah, so um, the net result of our program is we have 100% placement rate. Um, we have no problem getting our guys employed. As a matter of fact, we're getting employed with firms that previous to our program wouldn't hire somebody with a criminal background. Now, several of them hire our folks without even checking their criminal background. Now we tell them up front, obviously what they did, but we're able to get folks employed without a problem. You know, again, like the car situation, I think that that job opportunity is even more impactful, particularly for a returning citizen. Our recidivism rate is less than 3%. Um, and, and it's all about having that job that leads to a career that pays a good wage beyond a living wage. Our guys now are starting at fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year. Thanks for taking time and talking to us about vehicles for change, the success you're having, and your future plans. We wish you the very best moving forward, and appreciate all the help that you provide uh, to the communities that you serve. Thanks, Don. I greatly appreciate being here. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back with further editions of GBC Insider. Please join us for those future editions in the coming months. Thank you.